patients often ask about uh, diagnostic testing. Uh, you know, when is it appropriate to have a treadmill test? And the answers are actually uh, surprising for many people. But we are very reluctant to recommend treadmill testing, an exercise test on the treadmill, for patients that don't have symptoms. The problem is that those techniques that we have available for improving blood flow in the coronary relieve symptoms, the symptoms of chest pain that people get when they exercise, but they don't necessarily prolong life or reduce the risk of heart attack. And so in a treadmill test, in a patient has no symptoms, then the result is very likely to be a false positive result, is very likely to lead to a heart catheterization. And if we find a blockage at the heart catheterization, if the patient has no symptoms, there's no indication for putting in a stent or doing bypass surgery. So the best solution is to avoid doing treadmill testing in people unless they actually have chest pain. In fact, if the chest pain is very typical of angina, the chest pain that comes from the heart, it's also not appropriate to do a treadmill test because those people almost certainly have coronary disease and if the test is normal, it's probably wrong. And so the only group of people in whom treadmill testing is generally recommended are those that have an intermediate likelihood of disease, neither low nor high, but in whom there are symptoms with exertion. In those people, if the treadmill test is normal, it's reassuring. If it's positive, we probably ought to look further.